Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Let's Play Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 2. Last episode, we met and said goodbye to Frank, slash Mike, slash whatever you want to call him, and we got scared by a regenerator this episode. We're going to go out the door. We're going to leave prison. We've, uh, we've posted bail, and uh, we get to leave now. Now, where we're going, I'm not quite positive... I hear a guy with a stun baton. Oh, I know where we are. This section kind of sucks. This section's kind of interesting because in this section up here, uh, what I learned from that speed run that I was telling you guys about is nothing in here. Is that if you kill enough enemies, it'll trigger a larger enemy to come out. And I'm not sure what gun I want to use here. Let's just go knee deep. I know, dude, I know you see me. I know you see me too. Why aren't. Okay. Let's not argue. Yeah, I unequipped the uh, thermal scope as well. Let's not argue. Let's just shoot things. Okay, he's gonna shoot me. Oh, well, while we're out here. Oh, damn it. There we go, there's a headshot. Uh. I wanna get. So that kind of works. Ah, leave me alone. Okay, time for a close range weaponry. As you can see, I uploaded, or uploaded, wow, I updated. I redid everything in my inventory off screen, just like I always do. Hopefully, nobody is spawning behind me. I don't think so. No. I would never put it past this game to have someone spawn behind you in any situation. Ha! Got that shit out of the air. Okay, now, I don't want you... There we go. You just fall to the ground. There he is, the machine gun guy. Okay. Yeah, he didn't... He wouldn't have spawned unless I... killed a certain amount of people, and apparently... <laughs> the limit was, like, four. Like... <laughs> Woohoo. Exploding barrel time. Now, let's... I'm just gonna stay here in a sort of holding pattern until something develops, until, until somebody gets in my face. Hey, buddy. I knocked your beret off. Your beret looks like... Uh, is it Jamie? From Mythbusters. Yeah, did you guys hear about that? I doubt you did, but there's... there. I saw an article on Yahoo maybe like two months ago. The Mythbuster guys, Jamie and Adam, they were experimenting with like cannonballs or something and if you've ever if you've ever watched Mythbusters you know that they actually they take pretty good precautions even when it's kind of like not necessary in my opinion but they somehow from what I understand shot a cannonball through this woman's like wall in her house and I was like that really sucks because I know I've watched the show enough to know that they, they are pretty responsible with what they do. And that would really suck if they got like a strike from the network and they're like, Hey, we're going to kind of put a leash on you guys now, considering you almost, you know, killed a woman by shoving a whatever 18th century, you know, deadly weapon through her home. Get down from there. Right now. Come on. Okay, you stay up there. In this area, you have to find a key card and then swipe it and then blah de blah you know, same thing. But we are almost done with the game now. We are pretty damn close of getting to the final boss. It might be at the end of this episode. Anyway, I might just go crazy and make this episode last until we get to the hay. Until we get to the hay. Yeah, we're in a barnyard. There's hay everywhere. There, there's an assortment of oats, food for animals. Yeah, until we get to the final boss. No, I do want to take it. I don't know why they gave you an option. So would you like to take this? No, I don't want anything to help me on my journey against all the evil enemies. I'm good. You can keep all your stuff. What does that do? It, uh... Yeah, he takes the key card, and more enemies get unloaded on your face. I thought I saw a... an item. Oh good, another yellow herb. I need that. And there's nothing even in that one. Even better! 
Oh, it's a flash grenade. There it is, right there. Okay, so if you want to, and I do, because I like doing boring, repetitive crap to entertain you, you can stand right here and wait for everyone to converge on you. Use the let them come to you strategy, which in this case, they're only small, you know, wussy enemies as opposed to the chain gunner guy. Yeah, and you can knock them down the ladder from here. Actually, boom! I will take that as a win. No one else needs to fuck with me. You wanna fuck on me? Um, I hear other enemies. I don't see them. Oh, here we go. Hey, guys. I guess I'll come out here and give you what fur. One of these guys is carrying the key card we need. It's the guy with the glint on him. Kick. I'm going to run back here. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to kick his head off. I'm going to pause. Sabbatical. Give me a second. Um, yeah, me and my six yellow herbs. You know, because that's helpful. I kind of want to get one of these out. And... Throw it on the ground. Grenades on the ground. Grenades on the ground. Looking like a fool with grenades on the ground. I want to get back to where I was. I shouldn't have moved from that spot, I'll admit. Oh, I'm going to kick you. Okay, that works. Uh, and shot to the head. Okay. Shot to the head. Yeah. When I shoot you in the head, I expect your head to be gone. Back down the hole. Okay, now get back down the hole. As long as I don't get... Oh, I hear people shooting arrows. I don't like you shooting arrows. Because I'll take them to the knee. What's in here? Uh, this thing, it's one of the locks. The LED's, the LED's right? The red light. Blah, blah, blah. You need a capture card. Or capture card. A, a key card. Wow, capture card. You can tell it's late. Even for me. Hey, how you doing? Really sucks that your stun baton there doesn't uh, shoot the electricity. It just kind of stays on the baton. Go that way. Thank you. I love how the shotgun is just a, a plagus. Get ridderator of her. As long as you don't throw dynamite at me, I'm chill with whatever you want to do. There are a lot of enemies in this area. Why is that, game? Tell me. Like, I'm up to learning new things, and I would like for you to inform me why you thought it would be a good idea to put this many enemies in this space. Oh, here's the key card. Man, if I hadn't gone down there, I wouldn't even have known. I kind of need to use my pistol now because I'm kind of running low on shells. Actually, you know what? Let's reload first, and then switch, and then reload again. Okay, now we need to climb up there. Is that guy, is that guy with a shield? No? Yes? I, I swore I saw a shield. I'm just seeing things. I'm delusional. Hey, buddy. Dude, with a well-placed shot, which wouldn't even be that hard because you have an elevated position on me, like five feet away, you could have killed me right there. Like, I'm only human. I'm not the Hulk or anything. So that was pretty derpy on your part. Let's go ahead and put the key in here. Wait a second, what? It's one of those locks. The red light's red. I need to activate the merge lock. Where's that? Is it up here? Or is it the switch I already pulled? It would be pretty stupid if it were the switch I already pulled. Lockers! Let's go see the lockers. Ha, <laughs> squirrel! I was watching Up today. Up is a damn good movie. Even for it being a kid's, you know, movie, Disney movie. All the Pixar movies are good, except for Ratatouille. What's in here? Gold. <laughs> Somebody just leaves their gold lying around in suitcases. It's the reader for the card key. Would you like to put the card key in here? Sure. You've inserted the emergency lock card key. Now I gotta go hit those two switches. What's this? Rifle? There we go. Okay, I guess I'll go hit those two switches real quick. Sure, tedious backtracking. Let's... I know I'm a fan of that. I don't know about you guys. There's one. I find it easier just to, like, square up at 180 degrees and then turn instead of turning all the way around because it, it's a little bit faster, I think. 
If not, then it's just more convenient for me. So that door opens. I'll go ahead and skip the cutscene because nobody wants to watch a door open. <laughs> if you wanted to watch a door open, you'd be standing in the doorway of your room, just staring at the door. Unless you don't have a door to your room, which I feel bad for you then. It's kind of messed up if you don't, but okay. What's that? It's a red herb. Through this gate we find... It's not a gate, it's a door. Uh, we've already been here. Oh, I know where I need to go. Right over here. Right over here. Come down here. Is there anything under the stair? No, it's just one big staircase. Through the door we go. Great, I hear enemies. Damn it. Damn you and your shields. I'm using this incendiary grenade because it's the only thing it's good for. The game provides me with resources and I'm going to freaking use them. And I would lay you out with a TMP right now, but I don't have the gun. I have the ammo. Lord knows I have the ammo. You guys need to die. I need to take advantage of you being all not responsive good. They were the only people in the area. Some more shells. I will take more shells. Some lockers? No. That was kind of dumb just to put two random enemies here and then a doorway to another section. What's in the next area? I do not... Oh, it's a cutscene. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. So that's where that came from, that sound bite. I can't go back this way. You sure? I, it looks pretty doable. You could probably get over that. I, I don't know about you, but you know, I hurdle flaming boxes for a living. So, uh, yeah. It's the merchant. Give me this. Now, I don't think you can use solely a yellow herb. No, you can't. I wish you could. You could use a yellow herb solely on someone. If that were the case, I would beef up Ashley's max health real quick, and then we would just say screw it to the rest of them. A note! Lucis Memo 5. From the initial stages of the research, we have been searching for a safe and practical removal procedure of the Plaga. Ironically, it turns out that the real objective of this research was not to find a way to remove the Plagas from the infected persons, but to find a way so that the Plaga could not be removed from the body easily. In the end, we were able to find out that the Plagas could be removed only by exposing them to special radiation. Well, let's get the chemo going. The only drawback with this method is that it's a very painful procedure. Since the Plaga attaches itself to the nerves, there is a possibility that it may impair the consciousness of the host, as long as I don't die. Another fact that must be mentioned is that once the Plaga grows into an adult, the removal procedure could kill the host. Well, good. Yeah, it adds a little bit more edge, you know. 
But perhaps death isn't so bad when you think about the alternative. Eh, that's, that's very true. Lewis helping us from the grave. I miss you, Lewis. I miss you, Anne Frank. <laughs> I said Anne Frank. I didn't even mean to. But we don't want to go into that area. F we want to, and first... Oh, yeah, we have Ashley back. Yay! <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, I can get behind you. There's nothing behind you, though. I don't know what that's about. Welcome. Welcome. Would you like to buy things out of my creepy trench coat? Sure. You can have my TMP ammo for money. Thank you. And I oh, I can sell the infrared scope for ten grand. Hmm. Interesting. Pro pendant for a grand, or I mean ten grand. Thank you. I can't buy because I'm all, I'm caked up when it comes to yeah. And there's nothing to. Yeah. How much money do we have when, now that I think about it? And there's no calculator around here. Calculator. Oh, hey, barrels. Double barrel time. Hey. I just got 10 grand there. We are caked up. How much money do I have? 288,830. Oh, okay. And we have six yellow herbs, which you don't need. And I don't remember the next section. Well, I might remember the next section. Very fuzzy. If I'm if I'm correct, then I'm gonna have to pull my shotgun right back out. Because this pistol will not cut it against these big guys. Hey, I was right. Check it out. My memory's good. Okay. So I don't know if there are any dumpsters or anything. Whoa! Dude, that scared me. He just ran around the Okay. Okay, game. That was a you made me shit my pants there. That's that's good. Good job. God, that really legit scared me. He's like, "Raw, I'm a football player. I'm gonna run around the corner and and try to make you piss yourself." And you're like, "Well, good job, because you succeeded." But thankfully, this was the section I was thinking of. So I didn't. Is it programmed into their AI for these certain enemies to be? Ah, shit. To be fast as hell. Go away. Okay, nothing can get behind me, so I'm good here. Uh, what should I do? You know what? Let's combine this with this and give it to Ashley. Ups her max health there. And let's... What should I do? Let's use that. On myself. Fully healed. Okay, so once I get over this minor heart attack I just had, reload this gun as much as we can. I want these shells. Oh, they're, they're not dead yet. What the hell? Dude, you guys need to die. Nobody down there. Give me your money. I like it how most enemies in this game always have spare money on them. And I believe it's cutscene time. If this is the right area, pretty sure it is. Let the party... Or is it? Oh, it is. Okay, cutscene time. I think... No, it's not. What were they going to do to her? <laughs> Something that we don't like? Yeah, this is the room, if you couldn't tell, where we just were, and Ada was up there, and... Uh, is there anything here that we can pick up? Is there anything here that we need? Is there anything worth doing here? Or did I get my... Go up the stairs, please. Or did I get my pants soiled for no good reason? Tell me Ada left me another paper airplane up here with a message on it. Red herb. That's it? No. Oh, and magnum ammo. Can't forget that. That's it. Just red herb and magnum ammo. That's... Okay, and I can't jump down from here. That sucks. How did she get in here anyway? There's like... How did she get in here without him noticing? There's no sort of aerial way of entrance... Entrance way. I don't... I'm confused. Um, which way should I go? Should I go out this door? Let's go out this door! Where am I now? Oh, we're back here. Oh, okay, I'm backtracking. Okay, hang on. 
Okay, here we are, back out in the the area that matters. In the place where I shit my pants. Through this door, here we go. This is where the cutscene is. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. All right, guess I'm up. You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. I knew that cutscene was around here somewhere. I knew I put it somewhere. Next, the final chapter. It's freaking Star Wars. Our hit ratio was 77% and we killed 96 people. It didn't even feel like that and we didn't die, thankfully. The final chapter. Freaking epic. Is it just me, or does Ashley, like, close up, look like a freaking meerkat? Or like Zaboomafu? Phew, thank god it's out. Remember Zaboomafu? That little character- ooh, whatever. Okay, so that opens back up for us. We don't need that. And we just saved. So, I have no idea how this thing works. The important thing is that we're still alive. Derp. Okay, I kind of don't want to- You know what? Screw it. Okay, so on the next episode, we are going to- pretty much finish the main storyline. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, so until then, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here.